Welcome to Compute 175, where we'll be talking about linked lists, and more particularly, doubly linked lists. A list is like a chain, where you have a chain of rings, but a list is basically a sequence of nodes. They're linked together from one to the other. So I'll use as a metaphor uh, for a node a person, a person representing a node, and the node contains data and then a reference to the next. The reference here will have the arm stretching and touching possibly another person. So the shoulders of another person, B. So A is linked to B. But B is not linked to A. B is linked to some other person, C. And C is linked to D. And then D is not linked to anybody. Let's say a wall, we'll call it none. Okay, so this is a linked list, and each node contains some data, A, B, C, and D. Um, to traverse this list, we need to know the beginning. This is where we call a head of a list. F once you know the head, the first node will tell you who's the next, B, and B will tell you who's the next, C, C will tell you who's the next, D, and D will tell you, well, the next is a wall, there's nothing. In reality, they're not really standing one next to the other. In main memory, the nodes are scattered in different places. Uh, so you'll have the head will tell you where's the first node. The first node will point to the next node. And the next node B will point to the next node C. The next node C will point to the next node D. And D will say, well, there's nothing after me. So they're not one next to the other. They can be anywhere in main memory. Well, the doubly linked list, instead of using one arm, will use both arms. And now, as a metaphor, we'll have the node person reaching out left and right and touching the hands of other nodes. Okay, and, and, and again, we'll have the next link to tell me who's the next node, but I'll, and it'll go to the wall for the last one, so none. And then I have the previous link, who is the node before me, okay? And the previous also uh, uh, of the first is none, so we'll have a wall. So again, uh, 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 you can uh, ask the node, um, who is next? So for example, B, who is next? Well, B will say, well, my next is C. Okay. And the same, the node will be able to understand the question, uh, hey, E, who is your previous? And previous uh, of E, well, uh, uh, D will uh, E will say it's D. Okay. So obviously the the interface for a node is slightly different than a singly linked node. Um, here, this node will be able to know who's the next, but also who's the previous. To traverse such a such a list, you also need the head, and with the head, you say, hey, A, who's next? tell me it's B. B, who's next? Well, it's C. C, who's next? Well, it's D. D, who's next? Well, it's E. E, who's next? I don't have anybody. It's the wall. So if you want to use the previous link, you can traverse the list in reverse. But to do so, you need the tail. So from the tail, the last element, you can ask it, hey, E, who's previous? Say, well, it's D. D, who's previous? Well, it's C. C, who's previous? It's B. B, who's previous? It's A. And A, who's previous? Well, there's no, nobody, so it's none. And we'll have this wall again. Now, this is a, a, um, a doubly linked list, and it's uh, different than the singly linked list. And when we want to add, remove, insert, and so forth, it's slightly different because we need to deal with two kinds of references, the next and the previous. So for example, I want to add to the end of the list another person here, X. Mr. X has to go to the end of the list. So to do so, I don't have to traverse the whole list. I can go directly to the tail and do it at the tail. So it's a constant time. I don't, regardless of the length of that list, uh, unlike the singly linked list where I have to traverse to go to the end, here I can say, uh, well, Mr. New Node X, well, your next is none, 
okay? But your previous will be that tail. It'll be E. And then I'll go to the tail and I'll say, hey, E, your next is not none. Well, uh, um, your next should be that U node. Okay, so it's not none anymore. It is X. And there you go. You have X added to the end. But we need to adjust the tail. And we'll say, now tail is not E anymore. It is X. And easily I was able to add X to that doubly linked list. I can do a similar, a similar uh, operation if I wanted to add Y in the beginning. So I have to go to the head immediately and I add it there, and I, it, regardless of the length of that list. So the first thing I have to do, I will bring up, uh, I will create the node with uh, the, the data Y, and I will tell, hey Y, your previous is none, and also your next is actually A. Okay, that's done. Then I'll go to the head and I'll say, your previous is not none anymore. Your previous is actually Y. Okay, and then I'll adjust that. And there you go. Y is added in the beginning, but I have to adjust the head. And now my head is this new node Y. And there you go. You have a doubly linked list um, where I added Y in the beginning and also X at the end. But what? how, how do I do that if I want to add in the middle? Okay, so... Now I have another doubly linked list, and I want to add, for example, X, but in between D and E. Okay, so not really at the end and not really in the beginning. So in this way, I will uh, just um, ask X, hey, you're next, you're new here, and your next will be E. Okay, and uh, your uh, previous uh, is actually D. Okay, but I have to go at the same time to E and to D and ask them to adjust their next and their previous. Uh, so for E, I will say, hey, your previous is actually X, okay? And for D, I'll say, your next is not E anymore, your next is X. And I have, don't have to touch the head or the tail, they already adjusted, and this is fine. X has been inserted. Now, deleting is also a, a little bit tricky when you have to deal with two uh, um, directional kind of links, the previous and the next. Suppose now I want to remove C, right in the middle. Um, C um, has to be disconnected from the B and the D. How do I disconnect it? Well, I have to tell uh, B that your, your next is not C anymore. It's actually D. And same thing for D. I say your previous is not C, it's actually B. So first thing I say, hey B, your next is now D. Okay, B, your next is actually D. And uh, uh, for D, I'll say, your previous is now actually B. Okay, there you go. Now, um, <coughs> C is not uh, referenced by anybody. Um, C is still referencing B and uh, D as their previous and their next, but who cares? C itself is not referenced, referenced by anybody, and then uh, the garbage collector will come and take it. There you go, you have a doubly linked list and there's no C in there and all the links on both directions work fine. Now, as an exercise, think about how to remove A in the beginning or removing E at the end.